Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, we're talking about Snowflake. As ever, let's get stuck in. So for some time now, I've been threatening to make videos about new technologies, and Snowflake has actually been something that I've already been making content about. If you head to the YouTube channel, and on the top right hand side, I don't know if uh, many people know this, but if I, if I just collapse this sidebar here, there's a little search bar here, and um, once you're there, you can actually just search content on the channel. So if you type in Snowflake there, you'll get a, a return list of pretty much all the videos I've made in that area in chronological order of what makes the most sense. So you can see here I've made quite a few videos and part of the philosophy around um, making content is just generally, can you add value to the content? And actually the, the best way I tested that with Snowflake was I actually made a series based on Snowflake's own resources. So I went onto Snowflake website, I took the resources, the getting started with Snowflake resources, I literally titled it the same thing, and then I made videos about them. So these were resources that you could already just go and consume yourself, walk yourself through them, guide yourself through them. And for the record, they're really, really good. I was able to pretty much uh, use those resources to teach myself Snowflake and then repeat that back in a video in my own sort of style and nature. And I was following the guide side by side as well in these videos. And having done that, uh, 8,000 people uh, watched the first uh, uh, video and subsequently all the other videos also got pretty good view counts. In essence, people were following through the entire course. So in 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 sort of that little experiment, I realized that actually I could add some value to the, to the space and I could make content that was interesting. The other problem with databases is they're just really dry sometimes. You <laughs> Sometimes when you're talking about concepts, whether it's uh, related to specific SQL syntax for that database, or you're talking about security and governance and you're trying to explain some of the more complex architecture concepts it's really hard to keep things accessible and so that's also something that I was super keen to do if I was going to make content about Snowflake so one of the ways I did that is I broke down the keynote I essentially went through the entire Snowflake key keynote and I tried to sort of make it simple and accessible and again the response to that has been as good as if not just as uh, uh, good as my Tableau sort of keynote breakdowns which I recently did if you haven't seen those so um, in essence when I did these experiments I was absolutely certain that I could add something to the space and over the last two years actually uh, that content has been doing really really well and so this brings me to uh, the topic today which is I've now got a course available on LinkedIn learning uh, for Snowflake now this course is titled in a similar way if I go to the post here it's titled in a similar way to uh, the previous course I did on Tableau so everybody's introduction to Snowflake as a title my previous course was called everybody's introduction to Tableau and it follows the same philosophy it's exactly the same recipe just a different technology the whole purpose and even the naming should suggest this is to make the technology accessible to everyone in the business and you're probably wondering well what do you mean and what data have you got to prove this well if I head to my back-end analytics here you can see the sort of metrics for my course on Tableau we're just under 30,000 learners so we're getting there but you can see that the trend on a weekly basis is pretty consistent Roughly 800 people doing it every single week, starting the course and learning something new. And over here, you can see the titles by learner. So you can see uh, I've worked in pretty much every industry, whether it's hospital, healthcare, retail, higher education, uh, telecommunications, IT service and IT consulting, whatever industry you're working in, that course has helped people learn Tableau. And then if you look at titles, uh, a lot of people working in this space, obviously going to be business analysts or, of some sort or strategists, but we've also got lots of project managers, database developers, specialists, people who will never open Tableau doing the course. So I wanted to bring some of this uh, secret source to Snowflake as it were. I wanted to make databases interesting to learn, accessible, and also contextual in the business setup. So um, that's exactly what I've done with this course. It's called Everybody's Introduction to Snowflake. You can access it free via my LinkedIn link. I'll put this in the description below and also in the first comment of this video. Um, the reason I do this is because I think uh, keeping all this access available to everyone is super, super important. Um, LinkedIn learning is part of LinkedIn premium. So if you have LinkedIn premium for any reason whatsoever, you automatically get access to LinkedIn learning. And if you don't have access to it, Everyone is always entitled to a 30 day free trial. So that's yet another way you can get it for free. And then on top of that, let's say you've done your 30 day free trial or you don't have premium, you're not a salesperson, you're not one of these recruiters. Well, if you go to my profile and go to this post, you can't see it here because this is my own post. But if you go to this post, it's public, it's uh, open to the world. 
uh, there'll be an option there to access it free for 24 hours. Now, the course is only an hour and 30 minutes, so that's plenty of time. Go to that link when you're ready to just spend an hour uh, and you can do it over the course of a day. Maybe do the first half in the first half of the day, the second half later in the day, and you're pretty much done. You'll have a strong introduction. It's meant to be accessible. It's meant to be easy to access. If you work in business, you'll be able to go to this without having any prior knowledge of databases in general terms. We will cover some complex topics, but I'll always so try and link you off to resources that are valuable. So that's uh, uh, hopefully a really, really good way to bring you into this. Now, to sort of give you confidence that I can keep people engaged, if I go to my uh, video analytics here, you can see this is my uh, first video on Snowflake, getting started with Snowflake. And what I love about YouTube is it gives you retention graphs for what people are actually doing through your videos. So if you're wondering, how do I make videos and how do I keep them engaging? It's because I pay attention to these uh, metrics here. And so you can see here that as soon as the video starts, obviously there's a big drop off. But remember the length of the video, it's 30 minutes. So there will always be a drop off of this sort. Uh, in typical sort of a YouTube terms, Mr. Beast has like something like 97% retention, but he's only making like five, eight minute videos and they're much more interesting than databases. So to get to uh, the first minute and still have 42% is I think a pretty good standing. Now you can see that this pretty much remains flat all the way through to the very end. So for 30 minutes, I'm able to keep people engaged about Snowflake. And they even come back and watch certain bits over again. That's why you get this slightly odd bump right around the timestamps. People are coming back to do that bit again, or they found it useful and want to refresh it. So that's what's going on. So I think this is a fantastic resource on LinkedIn. I've taken everything I've learned about Snowflake content and I've put it into this. But that doesn't mean I won't make content here on YouTube. The way this works is uh, LinkedIn is the professional platform. You can always access this for free via the description below. But the whole point of this is complementing that with content here on YouTube. So over the next few months, you're going to start to see a more consistent cadence of content around Snowflake. And hopefully that's going to be something that will help you get on your journey. And uh, the reason I'm doing this, well, <laughs> I'm still Tableau Tim. I'm always going to be Tableau Tim. And I think these two technologies are fantastic together. But in order to bring people into that world, I think first I have to do something to introduce people to Snowflake. And then we can get to that really, really good content where we build whole solutions, whole ideas inside of a platform using Snowflake and Tableau from start to finish and people being able to follow along all the way through the process. And hopefully at the end of the day, learn something new. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.